Hello and welcome to the Antidote to Deception program. Today we are looking at the topic of free your mind. Today's presentation is entitled, Your Brain as Food. Our scripture reading is taken from Philippians chapter 2 and verse 5. The Bible says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. So, question. Have you ever had an experience where you felt that someone, instead of improving you, they were feasting off you, and quite interestingly, Rather than nourishing you, they were nourishing themselves on you. The Bible says that in our day, we have pastors like that. It's in Isaiah 56 and verses 10 and 11, that the pastors of today are known to feast on the flock instead of feeding the flock. As believers, we need to get out of and we need to get emancipated from these pastors and these churches. So how do we do it? First of all, let's consider the fact that the Word of God has to be our sole authority. And by this, I mean that if we knew what the Word of God says, then we will be better people, we'll be prepared, we'll be equipped and understand that the mind of men is to be molded. For men to receive from men, to feed rather than to be feasted on. My friend, my brethren, I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you to be better people. And again, like I said, that begins by knowing what the Word of God says for yourself. Secondly, we need to have the spirit of discernment. We need to have the spirit guiding us at all times. In order to do so, we must stay connected with heaven. Yes, my friends, we do encounter persons who rather than feed us would prefer to feast on us, and little by little, they chip away, they poke away at us until there's nothing left. You were never made to be in such a condition. The pastors of today, the politicians of today, the pundits of today have as their goal your mind. And every day your mind is bombarded left, right, and center by some new information. But I want to encourage you, my friend, that the Word of God has solutions for this issue. You do not have to surrender your brain. You do not have to have your mind served up to those who do not have your best interest at heart. Finally, I want to appeal to you as we go forward into this year to remember that even as you do not want to have your mind, your brain, serve to others, you ought not to be willing to do that to others. So let's be mindful that the mind that we want is the mind that serves rather than allow thoughts to be served. So allow our mind to be seated on again, like I said, there are thousands, millions, probably billions to some persons of voices you hear as you go throughout the course of a day that bombard you. You hear voices coming through from all aspects, and you will sit hours upon hours listening to YouTube videos, listening to podcasts, listening to all types of information, not knowing that your mind is becoming assimilated, your mind is becoming food, your mind is becoming palatable for those who will be seeking to prey on you. My prayer for you, my friend, is that as we go forward, that our end goal will be the fortification of our mind. May God bless us abundantly. See you in the next video.